Welcome to this Indianapolis Colts Madden 24 franchise. I haven't done a franchise in a bit. Hopefully this one actually lasts because usually I get like three episodes in. Doesn't do well and I just stop. Hopefully this one lasts. We're going with the Indianapolis Colts. It was between the Colts, the Browns, and the Patriots. I decided to go with the Colts. The only reason why I didn't go with the Patriots is because I absolutely hate their franchise and everything it stands for. Um, but I decided to go with the Colts because of one person, and that person is Anthony Richardson. I want to develop him. One of my favorite um quarterbacks ever is Cam Newton. And Anthony Richardson, so far in his young NFL career, has looked like Cam Newton a lot. He's got 91 speed, 92 acceleration. We're going to have to work on his strength and his accuracy. Most likely, his accuracy stats are not good at all. His throw power is amazing, though. They only got him at 70 overall. Jonathan Taylor will be traded in this series. I do not see him playing a single snap for us this season. I will be trading him um, whenever his injury is up. Madden, I know how to play the game. It is only one week. So after week one, um, so also Madden start today doesn't work, of course. Uh, so we're going to start from the beginning of the season. So records will be different than real life. But um, after this week, next episode, we will be trading Josh, Josh, um, Jonathan, Taylor. So I am the head coach of this team. As you can see in the top right, Mr. John Pork over here running this Indianapolis Colts team. Um, Shane Stighton, sorry, you're out of here. They're doing pretty good in real life, but we're going to have to kick you out, bud. Um, conservative, we are going to go with seven wins. I don't think this team can make the playoffs, but I feel like seven wins might be possible just basically off this defense. I do need to turn off the tutorial pop-ups, though. I am going to keep the momentum setting on for now. If I re if I decide that it's going to become irritating, um, then I will turn it off. Uh, we're going to auto-generate the draft class. A lot of QBs, but obviously we don't need one. We're going to be looking for probably running back. I don't know if we're going to draft one in the first round, but we will be definitely drafting a running back in the draft. Um, opening day keys, dominant offense or stifling defense. It's opening day this week and a fresh start for every team around the league, and you'll be facing the Jaguars. What's key to victory? I'm not going to be playing defense in the series. I will be only playing offense because I am abysmal at defense so defense is all going to be simulated ideally we establish a rhythm on offense dictate the flow blah 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 obviously every offense wants to be balanced what's your main focus we're going to focus on probably the run game since a um ar is a bit iffy we want to pound the, pound the rock a solid run game is going to limit the opponent's possessions in the longer round offense the less time they have to score so beat the drag arms rush for 150 yards i think that's very possible um achieve your goal very possible especially with ar we'll probably run a lot of qb options um we're gonna have zach moss starting rookie qb1 some rookies get brought along slowly but anthony richardson is making his debut at the earliest opportunity what are you expecting i am expecting him to show flashes he's a rookie so expecting him to break records in his first game isn't realistic but he's out there for a reason and it's to make some plays that is damn correct mr john pork uh beat the Jaguars and get two plus passing touchdowns for anthony Richardson sounds good to me. I think that's maybe possible. Um, I'm gonna go and uh, um, hire the scouts, get that all set up, and then I'll see you at the weekly strategy. All right, and now that we got the scouting out of the way, took a bit. Um, we are going to not defend the run. Uh, we are going to definitely go with the medium pass. With um, how is everyone already fatigued? Wow, really? All right, we'll we'll go with splits, I guess. And half pads. I think we're going to turn a progressive fatigue off. But we'll turn it on for this game. Throw it deep is the... No, no, no. We're going to go with throw it short. 100% going to go with throw it short. The offense is also fatigued. So we're going to go splits for the offense also. Because I'm trying not to get any injuries here in week one. I don't know why everyone's tired. Um, Anthony Richardson is here. Josh Downs and Julius Brents. They're all... Um, question mark, um, hidden development. I know Anthony Richardson, I think, has star, so I'm assuming these guys have star also. We'll keep them. Five rushing touchdowns is insane. We will go with, um, I think our defense might be able to get an interception. Um, we're going to go with the loud 20 points or less. 200 offensive yards. We'll go with 250. I think it's possible. And then we're going to go with hopefully no sacks allowed. Or when, yeah, no, we'll go with no sacks allowed. 
We're going to start it. I'm not going to do the practices because it just takes too long and I don't feel like doing it. It gets very, very repetitive. We're going to go through, make sure we don't got any injuries. The fatigue's looking good. So far, no injuries on the defensive end. On the offensive end, which is where I'm going to be playing, it does not look like we have any injuries. Thank God. I'm going to set my lineups after we upgrade some players. Uh, so let's go through, upgrade the player, see who has an upgrade. It is our punter and the two rookies, Josh Downs and Anthony Richardson. So the punter, uh, Sanchez, will upgrade you. Um, oh, you got two upgrades, huh? We'll keep going with the power then, baby. More power, baby. He gets, I don't really care. Uh, Josh Downs. I didn't know they had a rookie wide receiver. We are going to go with a slot or deep threat. We're going to up the deep threat. Get that to a 70. He's wearing Paris Campbell's number. Number one. Pat McAfee's number. Oh, he has two upgrades? Okay, we're definitely going to go with the slot since that's his highest. We might actually play him at the slot then. Because I don't know what their receiver, um, what you call it, looks like. What's his speed looking at? 90 speed, 93 acceleration. His route running ain't great, so putting him at the slot might not be the smartest. But I just might try. Anthony Richardson, definitely going to upgrade him. Um, we're going to upgrade his field general and get his um accuracy up. That's probably going to be the main thing I plan on upgrading is his ac uh, field general for his accuracy. So we're actually going to put both skill points into that. He is a 71 overall. He is immediately the captain in his rookie year. Hidden development. And then the rest of these upgrades, I'm just going to auto upgrade. I'm not going to sit through this. And now we're going to hop into this game against Trevor Lawrence and the Jacksonville Jaguars. Here at Lucas Oil Stadium, the Jaguars and the Colts with the divisional showdown week one of this NFL season. Anthony Richardson, Trevor Lawrence, Travis Etienne, and Calvin Ridley are going up against the Colts. We have Zach Moss starting at the running back. We got Michael Pittman Jr. This should be a good one. And the Jaguars immediately put points up their first drive of the game we're going to kick it off with a zach moss run he's going to run up the middle get a solid solid gain of about four yards i just realized i didn't have the audio on all right second and six we're definitely going to go back to the ground that's going to be my primary um form of offense is going to be the running game just because with a rookie quarterback with not great accuracy trying to limit the turnovers seems to be the smartest option um, we are going to go with the pass here, though. Um, I think I'm going to go with... We're not going to go play action. We're going to go with this play. Hopefully one of these tight ends can get open. Anthony Richardson, first pass. And it's good to Granson. He's got space. 16-yard completion. Richardson to the um, tight end. Granson, I don't know any of the players on this team. I'm going to learn them. Um, but we're going to run... I think we're going to run at Josh Allen. And hope for the best. Nope, we're going to go cut up the middle. He does not have the speed, and he gets about four. Second and six. I think we're going to go back and trust Anthony Richardson's arm here on this play. Let's see. I'm going to kick it to the tight end. Mo Ali Cox, and he gets it. It looks like... Oh, there's not a flag. I don't know why the scoreboard goes yellow when they show the draft class, but it does. Nice catch by Mo Ali Cox. We got a third down now. First third down of the game. Third and two. Um, we're going to try and punch it with Zach Moss, see if we can get this first down. Zach Moss, the blocking is good enough, and he gets the first. We got a second and ten. Um, a run with Zach Moss went absolutely nowhere. That play looks a bit too complicated. I know the deep part of the field is open, but Zach Moss does have space, gets down third and one, but that's going to take us to the end of the first quarter. Third and one, we're going to continue the run game. We're going to live by the run, die by the run until we're comfortable enough with AR. And Zach Moss is going to get pushed to the first down. He's got seven rushes on this drive for 27 yards. Decent, decent start with him. We're going to go with uh, a mesh play here. Looking for probably Isaiah McKenzie, most likely. Or we're going to go back to Granson. We're going to go back to the tight end. A rookie's favorite target, the tight end. Richardson, three for three, 24 yards so far on his first NFL drive. We're probably going to go back to the ground game here, try and throw him off. Um, it all depends on those middle linebackers. He is going to run commit. We get the block. Zach Moss is going to get the first down and more. And for the remainder of the season, I do plan on Zach Moss being running back one. As we're going to dump it out to him. And Anthony Richardson overthrows him. We got a third and eight. But yeah, after we trade um, Jonathan Taylor uh, next, se uh, next season. Next week. 
I do plan on Zach Moss being that starter unless I see someone in free agency that I want to give a shot. We're going to give it to Josh Down. Speaking of giving him a shot, the rookie brings it in after the contact. We got a first and goal. We're going to ooh, we're gonna put Michael Pittman on a slant here. Because I feel like if he's on a slant, he might be able to get open. It's a bit of a risk. Michael Pittman. And that is Anthony Richardson's first career touchdown goes to Michael Pittman. And the Colts are on the board. But yes, uh, Jonathan Taylor, I'm probably going to trade him for some uh, defensive depth. Maybe a free safety because that is our weakest position. The Jaguars do score 249. They've been taking a lot of time off the clock. Um, we're going to go with a little play action here. I think we've uh, passed enough to be, I mean, ran enough. And uh, I'm going to have to run out of bounds. I know I took the loss of two, but I probably should have just threw that away. I'm not going to lie. Maybe not the smartest decision by me, but I think we're going to go down to the ground, see if we can try and cut this in half. Yeah, Zach Moss does exactly that, and that's going to take us to the two-minute warning. Third and six after the two-minute warning. I'm going to go with slants here, probably the safest option. Sometimes it's not, but Josh Downs, the rookie, he doesn't have the speed, but what a reception there by Josh Downs. AR is having a pretty damn good start to his NFL career. He's showing he is able to throw the football. We are going to go back down to the ground, though. I might have to increase the minutes. Uh, right now, the quarters are only on um, eight minutes because uh, the games are going by a bit quick. Uh, Zach Moss, 11 for 52. So next episode, I might increase the quarter length to 10. And then it's going to go back down to the ground, though, 100%. Zach Moss, Quentin Nelson gets the block. Zach Moss is having himself a day. 12 rushes for 63 yards. We got a minute left. We're not going to call timeouts. We're not going to rush. No need, to be honest. We're going to go with the pass and see if AR, can he break free? No, we're going to have to throw it away. Second and 10, 48 seconds left. Worst case scenario, we throw a pick. Um, But point-wise, worst case scenario, AR, that was nowhere close. Point-wise, worst-case scenario, if we don't convert this, we get a field goal, cut it to a one-position game still, and hope that our defense doesn't allow a touchdown with 45 seconds left, because it does happen. You may be surprised. It does happen. AR, set your feet. He's nowhere near. That's going to be a fourth down. We're going to have to settle for a field goal. Fourth and 10. I am tempted to go for it, because there is 41 seconds left. We're on our side of the field. I'm not going to pull up Brandon Staley, though. I think I'm just going to take the points. And run with them. Matt Gay. He's not very accurate or very good. But that is going to be up. 14 to 10 is the score. Let's hope our defense can hold them enough. So we can go into halftime only down by 4. 3rd and 12. I decided to run it on 2nd down. We got a loss of 2. So we're going to have to go with Richardson here. We're going to dump it off to Moss. He does not have enough separation or speed. And we're going to have to punt it. Jaguars score a touchdown. They have full momentum now. Not good. We might need to start passing the ball. Zach Moss, though, great run there. 15 rushing, 71 yards. Anthony Richardson's only got, like, 11 attempts for, like, 50 yards. So we probably should try and put the ball in his hands a bit more. I can't see anything because, you know, the squiggly lines uh, so beautiful. Anthony Richardson, we're going we're gonna to run up. Run with AR. Slide. Why does he dive and not slide? That's a nine-yard rush by Anthony Richardson here. We're not out of it yet, obviously. We're still in the third quarter, only down by 11. But it would be nice to see my play art every once in a while. Anthony Richardson, he's going to have... Oh, it's nearly picked. That probably should have been picked. The interception slider is on 25. But that was nearly picked off. Not a great play there by AR. We're going to run it. We're going to run it. We need something here. Zach Moss! Big run gets the first down. They still have momentum, though. They still have momentum, though. How? After a big run. This is not great. I'm going to dip, dip it out. Mo Alley Cox get the reception. Third and four. Definitely going to go back to the ground with Moss. Definitely going to go back to the ground with Moss. He goes absolutely nowhere. I'm definitely going to have to increase the quarters, no doubt. Um, but we got a third and four here. That's what we need to worry about. Anthony Richardson, use your legs. <laughs> Nowhere near the tight end. I should have set my feet. Fourth and four. Are we in field goal range? They want us to go for it. You were reading my mind. We're going to go for it. I'm so tempted to run up that gap right there. I'm going to do it. 
I'm gonna do it. Is there a risk? Yes, but I'm gonna do it. Mo Zach Moss gets the first down. We got a new set of downs. 18 rushes, 90 yards for Moss. They're gonna rush. They're gonna rush. AR throws an accurate pass to Granson. He's gonna get out of bounds. It's a third and six. It'd be so helpful if I didn't have like squiggly lines, you know? Be very, very helpful. I think I know what this play is. Zach Moss is very, very tired. Uh, I had I I had the block, but in the moment, the second I saw him rushing, I just immediately threw it away. I'm gonna take the field goal. We probably should have did it on that fourth and four, but we didn't. So this is gonna cut it to a one-score game. We gotta pray for our defense to be able to get a stop. Our defense is unable to get a stop. They've still got full momentum. It's not looking good for the Colts. Obviously, there's still a chance. Five minutes left. We're going to stick it out. Dip it. Dip it. I don't know why that came in my head to uh, Michael Pittman. Um, we're going to go with this play right here. Why sale? We need to get rid of their momentum. Like, not being able to see my play art really is really hurting. Zach Moss, can he beat him to the edge? He can't. That's a third and three. Third and three, and also having to um, run a lot of like short plays, like short passes, isn't helping. I did not expect number 44 to run with the running back. Obviously, we're going to go for it here. Even, even the offensive coordinator wants to go for it. But I was just not expecting number 44 to run with Zach Moss. That's a bad pass, and that most likely is going to seal it. Yeah, this game's more than over, most likely over. So you know what? Now it's just um, stat time. Let's try and get AR some stats at this point because the game is likely over. That was intercepted. Wow, so much for stats. That's the worst type of stat we could have had. I, it, it was not a great play, obviously. I tried to squeeze it in a wind, very, very tight window there. And it did not work. So now this game's going to look like much more of a blowout than it really was. So that's fantastic. Now we finally get press coverage. I'm waiting all game for that. Maybe wondering, why are you doing that? Look at this. That's the stats I wanted last time. Michael Pittman, you better get your ass in the end zone. You better get your... He doesn't get in the end zone. Oh, my God. Second and goal. Honestly, I should just end the game. But we're not going to. We're, we're going to make this look somewhat decent. Josh Downs. He doesn't get in. We're, we're going backwards. Third and goal. We have um, two more chances to get in this end zone. It, they're daring me to run. I'm not gonna. Josh Downs. He drops the ball. Josh Downs might have to have... Do you think they want me to run drive? I don't know. They might want me to run drive. I want a running play here. So they come into... Never mind. That, that's not the formation I expected from them. Richardson, how do you drop that? Moss, it's in, brother, it's in your hands. Dude, how do you drop that? How does he drop that football? If that was a game winner, that's insane. He'd get cut on the spot. I don't understand how he dropped that. It was, it was right there. I could have caught that football, and I can't catch. That's insane. We ended up getting a safety, I noticed, but... We're going to start off the season 0-1. Not a great start for Anthony Richardson. But that drop pass by Zach Moss was terrible. Final stats. Our defense could not do anything to stop Trevor Lawrence. 18 of 22. 216 yards and two touchdowns. His brother completed 81% of his passes. AR 14 of 26. 152 a touchdown and a pick. Not a great NFL debut at all. Zach, Zach Moss on the ground played well. That dropped touchdown is just so irritating. Uh, Trevor Lawrence ran for 42 yards. Travis Etienne had a struggle, but he had two touchdowns. Receiving end, Michael Pittman had that big reception that should have been a touchdown, but wasn't. Calvin Ridley and Christian Kirk and Zay Jones all had a good game. Josh Downs, who has downs, had 30 yards. Uh, Kylan Granson is who he is. And then sack-wise, Josh Allen had a sack on us. Um, I'm not saying that name had a pick. And Quiddy Pay. Had four tackles for loss. We had... Oh my god, that's a lot of tackles for loss. And our defense played that poorly. For the cases, that is a disappointing L, I won't lie. But that's going to do it for this episode. Episode number one of this Colts franchise. Let me know what you guys think and if you want it to continue. Leave a like, subscribe, GG.